Final weapon showcase for Resident Evil 4, I will be going over a few weapons that did not fit into any of the other previous categories. First up is the TMP. The TMP can be bought from the merchant for 15,000 pesetas in the original versions of the game, but the price is cut down to 10,000 pesetas for the later ports. The TMP uses its own variation of 9mm ammunition that is exclusive to the gun. You can also purchase a stock for the TMP that costs an additional 4,000 pesetas and it increases the accuracy dramatically. To fully buy an upgrade, it is 335,000 pesetas in the original versions and 330,000 pesetas in the later versions. Once fully upgraded, the exclusive tune-up takes the firepower from 1.2 to 1.8. The firing speed is 0.10 seconds, the reloading speed is 1.17 seconds, the capacity is 250 rounds. The TMP is a great asset once you have it fully upgraded. The 1.8 firepower is per shot, meaning you have the opportunity to lay out 18 points of damage per second. It is useful taking out large groups, but be careful about shooting through all your ammo too quickly. The TMP is modeled after the real life Steyr TMP. It is worth mentioning that Hunk uses a different TMP in Mercenaries under the name Custom TMP. This gun is modeled after a different variation of the Steyr TMP, the BNT MP9. Aside from Hunk, Krauser also uses it when you encounter him in his boss battle. Next up is the Mine Thrower. This weapon is very unique as it quite literally throws mines at enemies. The Mine Thrower can be bought for 9,800 pesetas on all platforms other than the GameCube, which costs 28,000 pesetas. You can also purchase a scope that costs an additional 8,000 pesetas. The Mine Thrower shoots explosive projectiles that stick to a surface, and when it explodes, it does equal damage as a hand grenade. To fully buy an upgrade, it will cost you 192,800 pesetas. Once fully upgraded, the exclusive takes the firepower to 6.0, the firing speed is 1.33 seconds, the reloading speed is 2.57 seconds, and the capacity is 10 rounds. The exclusive also gives the projectile heat-seeking capabilities, meaning that the darts will home into enemies. In terms of firepower for this weapon, it does not actually increase the damage dealt, it just increases the blast radius. One thing to note about the mine thrower is that ammo can be quite rare, so use it wisely. The best strategy for the mine thrower is to save the ammo up and use it on Sadler. One blast from the dart will make him fall down and will give you an opportunity to knife his eye. Final weapon is the bow gun. The bow gun is exclusive to Ada in her campaign separate ways. This weapon fires cross bolts that explode on impact. It is first available to purchase in Chapter 3 for 70,000 pesetas. You cannot upgrade this weapon just like you cannot upgrade any weapon in separate ways, so the stats are final. The stats are, firepower is 16.6, firing speed is 2.43 seconds, reloading speed is 2 seconds, and the capacity holds one bolt at a time. One strategy with the bow gun is to use it on large groups of enemies. It has a tremendous blast radius and will kill them all in one shot. Ammo for this is pretty scarce. I played through the entire game and the ammo shown in this video is all the ammo I could find for it, so use it sparingly. While we're on the topic of bows, there is Krauser's bow. It is exclusive to Krauser and mercenaries and is seen during his boss fight in the main game. Unlike any other weapon, this weapon does not show the stats, instead it just reads, a bow that Krauser enjoys using during combat and I can see why he does. It is extremely powerful and takes out most enemies in one shot, sometimes two. Shots from this bow have a high critical rate and can break shields with a single arrow. It is really fun to use in mercenaries. That wraps up all the weapons in Resident Evil 4. Check the description for links to the previous videos I have done covering all the other weapons in the game. I'll also have all my other Resident Evil 4 playlists linked below. I pretty much have covered everything there is to cover in Resident Evil 4, so check it all out. Thank you guys for watching and sticking with me. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and I will see you all next time. Where's everyone going? Bingo?